Martin Grubb, coach of uh, Team GB uh, prospects. That must be a, a, a great night for you. Yeah, really pleased. We obviously only had two hours worth of practice last night and this morning. There's a lot of good hockey players here and we knew we were coming in to play an international team in Romania. We knew that they had uh, gave the Scottish Elite Select a good game on Wednesday night. We knew it would be tough, so we're really, really pleased with the, what the boys have uh, produced tonight and it's even more pleasing to win the game. The, uh, the first period, both teams seemed to be kind of, sort of feeling each other out, just trying to work out how each other played, really, didn't they? Yeah, I think the first period, there's was a good pace to the game and uh, both teams probably limited chances. Both goalies didn't have a lot to do. We had a couple of shots, but nothing massive. And as you say, they were feeling each other out. And we, we made a little a bit of adjustment at the end of the first period. We knew that if we could be a little bit more aggressive, be a bit more smart with the puck and make better decisions, that we would get chances. And uh, that obviously proved uh, to be right. And uh, I mean, to be honest, the boys have got to take all the credit. They went out and executed after a long, hard season with their clubs. And uh, as I say, I can't hide the, the delight that we have tonight. The, uh, the two goals in the second period were absolute crackers of goals as well. Yeah, first one, good power play goal. We were patient on the puck, moved the puck up top, and uh, Zach Sullivan with a nice shot. And Bobby Chamberlain, he'd done what he'd done all night. He made a nuisance of himself. He got himself in front with a nice tip. And then the second goal was an absolutely great finish with Kieran Long. Uh, I mean, it just seemed to be on his, his uh, stick for a nanosecond, the way it just came. A quick one-timer, and the goalie had no chance. So two very, very good goals, and we're pleased with them. You, uh, you, you swapped the goalie you know, about halfway through, and from where we were sitting up in the box, it, it felt like uh, Mike Will in the, in the first half maybe wasn't tried as much as, uh, as, as their second netminder. Yeah, I think Mike will be quite happy with his night's work. He had a lot of long-range shots, dealt with them very comfortably, but I agree, it, it probably wasn't tested as much as maybe he would have liked as well. And then when we put Sam Gospel in, we had the 5 on 3 to kill straight away, and uh, Sam done a great job there. And then I think the only sour point, if you like, of the night was Sam losing his shutout. It was a bit of a scramble when it ended up in the net, a little bit, maybe our only mistake of the night. But uh, yeah, I think both goalies can be pleased with what they've done. Sam was definitely the busier goalie, but they both proved that if, if needed in that senior setup, that Pete Russell could call upon them if anything was to happen to his goalies. And some good pen penalty killing with that 5 on 3 for what was nearly two minutes. Yeah, fantastic 5 on 3 kill. We spoke about what we, what we needed to do and uh, limit the Romanians' chances, keep them on the outside. And the three skaters done a great job. We, had, we were short on the, the penalty kill, so they were able to go out there fresh. And I think it was probably a huge turning point because they came hard at that stage. We managed to kill it off, and then we obviously got a third goal. And I think from there, it was a case of managing the game and seeing it out. And we're, again, we're delighted with that. How much did you know about Romanian ice hockey before you came into this game? Well, with our GB Under-18 team, we, uh, we played Romania last season. So I knew a bit about their youth setup. And uh, I knew that they got relegated for the men's uh, pool last year. So we knew they were they were probably below us in the rankings and that we'd, we'd give them a good game with our prospects team and that they're pushing hard to get promotion from their pool. So we knew a little bit. Obviously, the, the thing you don't know a lot about is the players that they're going to bring and then how, how deep they'll be in their lineup. And you know, I think they'll do well in the pool they're in. And they've got a bit of experience, a bit of speed, and I'm sure they've enjoyed their, their trip to Fife and it'll be a good preparation for their World Championship. And just finally, and that was the, the GB Prospects team rather than the full team. So, I mean, that's, that's British Ice Hockey is looking pretty good if that's the prospects. Yeah, I mean, the credit's got to go to Ice Hockey UK. We had the, they come up with this idea and uh, Pete Russell was obviously the new Don, if you like, with Pete. And he's, he's done a great job picking his squad and he was very involved in picking this. And Simon and I have came up here along with Al McGregor and put this team together. And uh, these, these guys, as I say, can be very proud. It shows that if needed, Pete can call upon these players. He knows that there's a little bit of depth now in the GB programme. He's won a gold with the 20s team and we had some guys there. We've just come back from Talon with a, with a bronze at the 18s. So the, the future is bright. We've got a good development pathway and, and long way that continue. Martin Grubb, thanks very much. Thank you very much.